We don't have, who, is, who do we have here today? Joyce Brown Greenfield. And Greenfield was your maiden name? No, Brown was. Oh, Brown was, so it's yeah, Joyce Brown. Yeah, colors. Uh, we don't have a name tag to compare. Oh. Where's your name tag? You gave it It's on a table. It's on the table. Well, they'll remember. No? I don't know. But we have a diamond. Let's see that ring. Okay. Okay, well, <laughs> they'll remember, I'm sure. And is there anything you'd like to tell the class? The vibes were fantastic. God, it was so good to connect because this is the first time. Really? First time? In for about you to come 15 or 25 years. And you felt vibes, huh? Oh, wonderful, oh. wonderful. I just, yesterday was like a, a kid in a candy store. Really? Was, and where, where do you live now? I live in Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas? For 34 years. Yeah, I live in Houston. I do, I do. How come you don't have an accent after 30 years? Because I'm from Cleveland, Ohio, and you stick with what's good. <laughs> and do they think you have an accent? No, I'm pretty much a chameleon when it comes to really? who I'm talking to. You with. fit right in. Because I moved from New York. You, oh, moved from New York? Am the I city? I'm married to a New Yorker, yeah. Oh, jeez. A New Yorker. <laughs> what would you like to know? I'd like to know your phone number. And your No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Anything you... <laughs> Social Security, blood type... Anything you'd like to tell the class and who you're voting for? No. <laughs> Actually, you know about voting? They called me up. This is the they thing about age. Too. They called me up and said, now that you're of the age, you know, we could send you your ballot to your home. Mm -hmm. And I went, now that I'm of that age, oh, my God. <laughs> they so, thought you, they and thought they you couldn't drive. To the <laughs> Right. They knew you were from New York and you didn't have a license. No, actually, I had a <laughs> have car. Have you learned to drive? I had a car in New York for 11 years. In Manhattan? Uh -huh. Well, Brooklyn, Bronx, and Manhattan. Really? Mm. It cost more than the house. The insurance did. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I forgot what I asked itself. you. What, <laughs> what is it about? Uh, I just, I think most of our class is so comfortable in their skin. And I, don't I hope they're in their own skin and not in somebody else's. <laughs> well, they could have paid for some of it, but <laughs> but the, it was just a comfort and a love and a nice self confidence in each other and the caring about each other. I love being home. You sound and like a home. very spiritual person, like Peggy, my wife is very oh, spiritual. Oh, she's beautiful. Yes, yes. In, well, we were having a conversation about faith before, but um, yeah. <laughs> In, in my own way, Very spiritual, yeah. which is good. Especially yeah. when you need the things we need today. Yeah. Well, <laughs> the crazy I've, world we live in, but I don't want to go there. <laughs> I've worked in the nonprofit world for a lot. Really? In the interfaith community. For, oh. Hi, Sandy. Um, and I've just learned a lot. Really? About I learned nothing about life when I was in the profit world other than to stab the other guy in the back. Well, and that's <laughs> no, why I'm just kidding. I, I came from corporate... <laughs> to nonprofit because oh, yeah Manhattan Ugh. you know actually I made the transition in Houston I did. really I did I worked for corporate and then I said you That's know good. there's a way to make this world better really and I try <laughs> <laughs> what is the secret no we won't get into that because I'm only about we've, we've interviewed you now for longer than anybody but I thought you were the most interesting person of <laughs> Of the whole group. If I could give everybody a hug, I would. There you that. go. Well, here. Well, let's start with me. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> okay. Cut. Cut.